In this video, I'm going to go over some cups that are similar in shape and size to the Lunette cup, but maybe a little bit softer. Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. This is a requested video by Jen, who um, is looking for a cup that's a little bit softer than her uh, Lunette cup, but she wants something that is very similar in shape and size. So um, I went through my cups and pick out a few and I'm going to go over them just a little bit. If you find something interesting or helpful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So the Lunette is a pretty firm cup. Um, it is on one of my firmest cup lists. And it is a great cup if you are having troubles getting your cup to open. Uh, say you are a new user, this one will pop open easily uh, without any coaxing or fidgeting. However, if you have a sensitive bladder or urethra, you might be experiencing some uh, discomfort or even cramping with the Lunette and might cause you to look for a softer cup. I'm going to go over two different batches of menstrual cups that are similar in shape and um, a little similar in size to the Lunette. Um, the first set that I'm going to bring out are the cups that I know and I trust. Um, they either have certificates or they have a good reputation. So I'm going to um, recommend those first. And uh, the second set are the cups that may or may not be made from medical grade silicone. Um, their websites do state that they are made of medical grade silicone, but um, they don't have a, a, a big following yet, and so those are the ones that, um, you know, you're going to have to do your own digging and deciding for yourself if you want to use them or not. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go in the order from softest to the firmest cup that I have uh, that I picked out for this uh, comparison. So the first cup that I have to compare to the Lunette cup is the Eva cup. And here they are up against each other. And again, this is the soft softest cup in this first grouping. It has a very soft body but it has this high secondary rim which helps the cup to pop open easy. The second cup in this first group is the Green Cup of Maine. And I know this is a newer cup, but they did do testing. They are listed on the FDA list. And it is a little bit longer than the Lunette, but very similar in shape, so I did want to include it. The third cup that I have is the Bella cup and it started to get a nice uh, following and then all of a sudden I didn't see it anymore. And I think that is because it's very similar to the Juju cup and uh, the Juju cup might have been just a little bit easier for people to obtain. So this cup is a little wider in the body than the Lunette cup. And it doesn't taper to a V as fast as the Lunette does. It's still a really nicely made cup and I found it to be very comfortable. The last cup in this first grouping that I have is the Juju cup, which I just mentioned. And it is the closest in firmness to the Lunette. It is a tad bit more soft and I'll go ahead and do a squish test between these two um, just because it is just a little softer. But here it is up against the Lunette cup. Again this one's a little bit rounder in the body and doesn't taper to a V as fast. So I'll just go ahead and do a squish on these two inside of the Lunette cup and inside of the Juju cup.
and just the rims the lunette and the juju this second set I'm going to go over from softest to firmest again and don't forget that these are the cups that you're going to have to do some uh, digging around on your own. The first up is the Blossom Cup. Um, it is also known by several other names, uh, Athena, Duchess, Princess, uh, the Flower Pot. You can find the exact same cup on Wish and um, it's just known as several different names or uh, a cup that has no name. So um, it, it has the same markings. You'll know it when you see it. So here it is up against the Lunette cup. The second cup I have is the Menstruo cup. And it's very similar to uh, the Blossom Cup, but it doesn't have those lines. Uh, they did change the grip rings here or the stem. They did brand this cup and it is a little bit more firm than the Blossom Cup. The third cup I have in this group is the Uni cup and uh, it is a little shorter than the Lunette but it is about the same size and I thought that it would be a good match if you needed something a little bit shorter or could stand something a little shorter. It does have a good stem on it but as you can see I already chopped mine off. The next cup is probably the cup that's closest in design to the lunette. In fact, I kind of think that they might have used the lunette to model their cup after. The only difference between these two um, is the stem, the fact that this cup doesn't have the lunette name, uh, the measuring lines on the inside, and that it is a little bit softer. The name of this cup is Leeson. And um, the packaging that I received for this cup is really reminiscent of the kits that you can buy on um, Ally Express or Alibaba, uh, where you can buy the cup and you can also request packaging of any name that you want um, on the box and like the uh, pamphlets and whatnot are have no name so um, I I am not sure I mean I'm not positive but that's what it looks like to me the last cup that I have for this second group is the tulip cup and uh, this cup does have a website but it is in uh, Russian and I purchased mine on eBay and it was like 10 bucks and that was free shipping uh, so you'll probably have to check on eBay they do have a few different colors not too many I didn't do a video on this well I did but then I didn't publish it but my friend Jennifer Lewis does have a video on it so you can check out her video if you want to know any more information about this cup so here it is up against the lunette. It's, it's very similar as well, but of course they have this tulip design around the cup. And I don't know if you're sensitive or not, not but that might give you some issues if you are. And I would say that I would squish these two together, but uh, because the tulip pattern on this cup um, is a little bit, well, the the petals are a little bit thicker, so what it reads in the petal area and what it reads in this area that does not have petals are a little bit different. But overall, this cup is a little bit uh, more soft than the Lunette cup is. 
Well, those are the cups that I thought were similar to the Lunette. I hope this video helped you out determining uh, which cup you might want to try next. If I missed something or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And until I see you next time, take care.